So, with the merger between Disney and Fox, excuse me, the buyout, I should say, the buyout between uh, for uh, Disney buying Fox, um, the it seems ever so close, and it's probably going to be a thing. I think we could all, I think we all have to uh, accept that this is going to be a thing one way or another. That's that's kind of the truth. We all have to kind of accept, but. There is pro, and I know a lot of people are excited, and there are reasons why I'm excited to see Fox, act, you know, Disney having control over some, you know, having some control over Fox. But on the other hand, I'm kind of nervous. I'm very much, um, I'm very nervous at this point for, um, uh, for one property, and I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm talking about. And that is, of course, Disney now having ownership to Fox. Where does this leave the X-Men movies? Now, I know what you're thinking. Well, what about Fantastic Four? Well, I think it's safe to say that the Fantastic Four are probably... We're probably going to see the Fantastic Four again sometime in the... Sometime in the near future. That's that's a given. I think it's going to be that, you know, Fantastic Four coming back. And that's something not only myself, but ever, I'm pretty sure a lot of other people have wanted for the longest time of seeing Fantastic Four, you know, the Marvel comic that started it all... Um, I know, yes, Marvel did have comics beforehand, before Fantastic Four, but really, Fantastic Four really kicked off the Marvel Universe. That was the big thing, is that that was the, you know, Fantastic Four was the big kicker to, the big kick to get, bring in the Marvel Universe. So that was kind of the big drive. So to see that, you know, see the Fantastic Four, um in here, and not only that, everything that comes with the Fantastic Four, you know, Galactus, Silver Surfer, Doctor Doom, um, Kang, technically speaking, they have the rights to Kang, um, due to the fact that, um, Kang is, Nathan is an alternate timeline version of Nathaniel Richards, aka, um, uh, Reed's father, that means that um, they have they've had the rights to Kang the Conqueror for the longest time. So yeah, we finally get Kang the Conqueror in here, and all the other versions of that character, even Ranma, uh, Ranma Tut, and uh, I'm forgetting another one, the, Cent the Centurion. Yeah, so all the versions of Kang in that, uh, multiple timeline versions of Kang as well. So, anyway, what was I going to say? Um... Yeah, so that's a really cool thing, and I think, yeah, the Fantastic Four have been, you know, have been needing this. If One thing, you know, this era of Fox films have been really failing at is the Fantastic Four films. I'm pretty sure we can all agree that, you know, that that was evident with Fantastic Four. So, yeah. But on the other hand, on the other end of the spectrum, there's the X-Men movies, you know, the possibility of the X-Men films, you know, no, this is the end of the X-Men films, and a lot of people are excited about that, and, you know, rightfully so, there haven't been a lot of great X-Men films, but recently there's been a resurgence of really good X-Men movies. Um, I think we've had that since, um, X-Men First Class. Granted, you know, Apocalypse could have been better. I liked Apocalypse, but I will admit that it could have, you know, it could have benefited a little bit better. Um, but yeah, you know, thank, you know, Fo we can all agree that Fox was, um, experimenting with its property. It was really experimenting with its, um, with its properties. You know, it was exper- you know, how much, you know, that's how we got Logan, that's how we got Deadpool, and that's how we're getting New Mutants. And now, with this whole po strong possibility of Disney buying out Fox, we can kiss that all goodbye, and everything else that we are going to get along with it. You know, like X-Force, the Multiple Man movie. Um, you know, the X-23 film. Yeah, there was going to be, a, you know, you know, there's still a chance that we may get an X-23 uh, get her own movie as a spin-off of From Logan. That's kind of the big thing. So, that's, and now, you know, that's, the, again, and I know a lot of people are excited, oh, that means Wolverine can now hang out with the Avengers, or, you know, we can have a new, ver you know, new type of X-Men in here, and we can stop having the Inhumans. Yeah, that's true, but it's a little hard to shoehorn an entire, because the X-Men are not just, you know, a bunch of people with powers, you know, they're an entire race, and we've been trying to do this with, you know, trying to do this with the Inhumans, and that drastically failed, um... But, you know, to do it with mutants so late in the game, it's a little, you know, it would be a little convoluted at this point 
if you know Fox, you know if Marvel had gotten the Fox, you know, gotten this thinking with Fox earlier in Mar in the Marvel stuff, then maybe this could have worked out. Um, but yeah, that's the thing, you know. That's kind of the big downers that we're probably never going to get R-rated superhero films anymore. And I know what you're thinking. Well, what about D DC? The f the fear I have with DC right now is that DC is going to look at Fo at Marvel and go, "Oh, we just need to keep doing that." I mean, that was what I was kind of hoping. Why, even though Justice League was an okay film in my opinion, it wasn't great. I was still hoping it would do well financially, so maybe they could have some balls to you know experiment with their films. But, um, there's a good chance that you know Batman may not be R-rated, and I'm not saying just because it has an R rate R rating, it's going to be a good film. But it gives the creators to do more, and yeah, I'm pretty sure if you, um, if we want the comic book um, superhero movies to continue as well as to thrive, you know, for as long as they have, there needs to be you know some uh, some change ups now and again. That's what I was really digging about, you know, Fox with Mo you know um, Fox with the X Men movies is because yeah, that's how we got Deadpool, that's how we got Logan, and now I'm really scared that you know. Everything's going to be toned down. You know that's the big thing. That's the big worry I have. Now again, they they could work out a deal saying that um, the X Men can. You know the X Men films are still going to be under Fox, and that's going to be its own thing. Much like how the at this point the Netflix um, Marvel stuff is its own thing at this point. But there's always that fear. It's like ah maybe we'll take it all. We'll just take in Fantastic Four and X Men. But yeah, on the other you know like I said. The X-Men stuff is what I'm really worried about. Fa Marvel, you can take Fantastic Four because, yeah, you would do fan you would do fantastically with it. <laughs> that was a bad pun, but yeah, you know, we can find. You know, they already have the con you know the joint rights on the Watchers and the Scrolls, so yeah, why not, right? Um, and yeah, I know, Fe you know, apparently X-Men Dark Phoenix Saga is going to have Jessica Chastain instead of Lilandra, she's going to be the Skrull Queen, Vernacki, which that made me go, what? Uh-huh. What? So yeah, I'm worried about that film, but I'm really excited for Deadpool 2 and, and New Mutants. But yeah, that's my hope out of this entire merger is that, you know, Disney will allow them to do to do X Men films because they'll probably realize, yeah, it's a little late in the game to do, you know, X Men shoehorn X Men to all of this, so probably not the best. So we'll just you know let you do that, you know, let you do you boo. So, um, but we'll take Fantastic Four graciously because you can still work, even though you know it's a, it, there's a lot of stuff that comes with Fantastic Four. There's a lot of stuff in here that, you know, can work in this universe and still have it late in this game. You could say that, you know, um, you could say that Latveria is in this universe and people would believe it because, yeah, Latveria is a very isolationist place. You could even have that, you know, the stuff with Reed Richards and all of them ha didn't take place until after Infinity War. Like, maybe have it that Richards went into space to, te you know, because now that we've been invaded twice now... We've been invaded twice by aliens at this point. You can have it that Richards is going out into space and gets and his team get hit by cosmic rays. Boom! Fantastic Four. You know, and you could even have we could even have you know there's there's also this a lot of talk that we could have the Kree Scroll War as the next big Marvel thing after Infinity War. That could be a thing, or even have Galactus. You know, Galactus is the big next big giant threat along with Silver Surfer. That would be great. Just don't make him a cloud or a giant swarm of nanites. I want a giant purple man, damn it. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, Ultimate Gal Galactus was like a was kind of like a the best way to describe Ultimate Gal Universe Galactus was kind of like maybe the flood, but uh, techno organic. That's the best way I, can, uh, way I can describe them. But yeah, I don't want Ultimate Universe Galactus. I don't want a fucking Cloud Galactus. I want Galactus. You know, Giant Purple Man. I want Giant Purple Man. Not Giant David Tennant, although I'm pretty sure I just heard some fangirls and boys scream in the audience, so... <laughs> yeah. But that's my, my fear is the X-Men stuff. Not so much the Fantastic Four stuff. That's what I'm really excited about. But yeah, the X-Men stuff and everything that went with it and all the creativity that we were starting to get out of it, 
is is could be there's a good chance that it could be gone, and I don't want that because a I like you know I liked where this the direction they were going they were starting to go in, and b you know it's I don't want more of the same. I'd like some change up. I like the Marvel movies, but if you want if you want a genre to survive, you gotta you know change up your game every now and again. That's all I'm saying. So yeah. That's really all I can say at this point. I'm wor I'm both excited and worried about if this merger goes through because, like I said, there is a good chance that this is going to happen. There is a there is a huge chance that the you know um, the mouse is going to take over Fox. So I think we should all brace for that strong possibility. So you guys tell me in the comments below what do you guys think of Disney buying out Fox if that does come to pass. Are you guys excited? Are you guys not? Are you guys worried about X-Men movies? Are you guys excited for Fantastic Four stuff? Just comment below, let me know, and once again, hope you all enjoyed this, and I'm out.